For President Obama and the other leaders coming to Turkey for the G20, this was a summit in every way in the shadow of turmoil and bloodshed. The Paris terror attacks the French have blamed on Islamic State militants were the meeting's grim backdrop. The skies have been darkened by uh, the horrific attacks that took place in Paris. Meeting with Turkey's President, Obama said these targeted not just the French, but the entire civilized world. Uh, we stand in solidarity with them in hunting down the perpetrators of this crime and bringing them to justice. While President Francois Hollande stayed at home to deal with the crisis, his counterparts discussed steps to thwart the radicals and halt the civil war in Syria that helped give rise to the Islamic State group while killing hundreds of thousands and unleashing a wave of refugees. But with Syria's border not far from here, the summit was always going to address that, and security at this seaside Turkish resort was always going to be tight. Still in the stunned aftermath of Paris, the leaders opened their first formal session with a moment of silence in memory of the victims, and now may be ready for tougher measures. More military force on the part of uh, more uh, G20 countries uh, to kill ISIS uh, there before it kills innocent G20 civilians at home. Meantime, for the president, this summit begins a 10-day trip that also takes him to summits in the Philippines and Malaysia. And aides say he still plans to be in Paris for a global climate summit in two weeks' time. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Antalya, Turkey.